Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and we are here in Grand Turk. So let me show you all around the Grand Turk Cruise Center. Grand Turk is part of the Turks and Caicos Island chain. Your ship will dock on the south side of the island at the Grand Turk Cruise Center. So I'm gonna take you through all of that here in this video and what's available for you. As you pull into port, you're gonna notice this long beach with beautiful turquoise water. We're gonna walk that whole way so I can show you what's there. Taking a peek here at the beach chairs and umbrellas that are available for rent, as well as a number of excursions set up here. You have boats that'll take you on the Big Bertha, you know, where they pull the inflatable behind the boat. Upon docking, you'll head down the pier. They do not have any bicycle rickshaws here, so you will have to walk. Be careful of the lines. Your ship photographers will be out and available. And you can see fish. So if you kind of stand here along the railing and peek down safely, of course, behind the yellow line, not like those guys, you will be able to see some fish in the water. Now, upon entry to the complex, you will have to go through the duty-free shop, but be sure to take a minute to take your selfie at Grand Turk, or if you're bad at selfies like I am, Grand Turk. Ugh, always check your picture. Make sure you got the selfie. So entering into the complex, right in front of you after you pass through the duty-free store, you're going to find where the shore excursions meet. So you'll see these little stands with numbers on them like eight nine and you'll be directed to stand there to sign the waiver and sign up for your excursion the fastest way to the beach is going to be to make a quick left and go by the Starbucks now they places here do take US currency even though it's not the local currency you may not get the best exchange rate you can also use your credit cards just make sure you don't have any foreign transaction fees that's going to be something you want to check before you leave home to make sure that your bank isn't going to charge you a percentage if you use your credit card in a foreign country so that's going to take you right here to the set of chairs closest to the ship. Now, if you want to head to the Margaritaville complex with the pool, you're going to come go by the Effie store through the construction area. That's also to the left as you're coming out of the duty-free shop. And that's going to take you along the construction next to the Effie store to the Margaritaville entrance. After passing Effie and Pariah Joe's, you're going to make a left. That's where you'll be able to see the Margaritaville buildings. If you go to the left of those buildings, you'll find the Beach Rental Hut. This is where you can rent clamshells, pool floats, beach wheelchairs, as well as kayaks and paddle boards. Now, if you went to the right of those buildings, this is how you're gonna access the pool. The white building on the right is the restrooms, there's a gift shop on the left, and then you enter the pool area. Lounge chairs here are free. Just grab a lounge chair, put your towel on it. You definitely wanna bring your towel from the ship, and then they have lots of things. So they have a little cafe there. This is where the lifeguards hang out. They also have cabanas you can rent. These are available for rent only through the cruise line. So you have to set this up as a shore excursion through your individual cruise line. Now, in the very off chance there may be one available, you can inquire at the beach rental hut and they'll let you know, but that would be pretty rare. These tend to sell out. But it's a huge pool. It has tables in the pool. It even has umbrellas in the pool. And you can just grab a lounge chair and make it yours. Now, if there's little coolers, that means it's reserved. So there's a few lounge chairs that are available for rent and they have like a little cooler in between them and they'll be assigned but there are there's a lot of cabanas you can choose from they're kind of towards the back and then you also have the flow rider that was not running in the morning of our visit um, but you can buy a pass for that it is an extra charge there's also a swim up bar and the D, there was a DJ that was offering like free shots if you brought something in a souvenir glass. And then you have the restaurant. So it's a two-story restaurant where you can just sit down and eat as you would in a regular Margaritaville. This is actually the largest Margaritaville restaurant in the Caribbean. They, lounge chairs are also available for free. So just keep on heading through the complex past the flow rider. And that's how you'll get to this larger section of chairs than the ones I showed you earlier. You'll know it's included because of the ropes. So you want to stay behind the ropes. When you hit the end of the ropes, there's kind of this advertisement for a tram you can book. You can book it directly on the beach. And then as do you pass through the ropes, you are no longer on the cruise center property. So people can approach you for excursions, hair braiding, drinks, and 
chaise lounge or rentals. So you can see here, they're talking about, you know, all the different rentals, everything that's available. So if, if it's free, to stay in this cruise center, why do people go outside? Well, one big reason is because it's cheaper food and drinks. So you can see here, here's the menu of all the different drinks. These are over $20. They're, um, they're all kinds of frozen things, but you know, you want to get the souvenir glass and the margaritas and the different specialty cocktails. We got a bucket of beers that were advertised as $30 for the local beer, which is very good, by the way. Um, and we bought it and it was actually $38. I'm going to show you that receipt here in a minute. But they have the typical Margaritaville foods, fish tacos, uh, baby back ribs, you know, jerk chicken. And then here's our receipt. So there was a service charge and tax. So our $30 bucket of beer was actually 38. The other reason is the beach. So this is the rocky beach in front of the free chairs. And this is the smoother sand, clearer water in front of the chairs you pay extra for. So what are your pay extra options? Oh, there are so, so many. So close into the cruise port, you're going to find rows of chairs. The front row is going to be almost in the water. In fact, the water will start to come up under the chairs. So if you rent right here, don't put anything in the sand unless you're okay with it getting wet. Uh, but definitely anchor it to your chair if that's the case. The pricing's all over the place. You can try to negotiate. They have these fancier ones with the cabanas. These are all run by different people. Um, so you start talking to one person, another person may come up. The red umbrellas are right in front of the ship. Now, right here in this area with the red umbrellas by the ship, this is where your view is going to start to get better. So you're not going to be staring at the cruise ship. You're going to have a little more horizon, a little more of that a beautiful turquoise water view down by these red umbrellas. And you will negotiate with them about food or buckets of beer. You'll also be able to find options where you can take a boat out. You can negotiate with them about that. Um, now, just be very careful. Whenever you see a boat in the water, look for the anchor chain. They will be anchored to shore and you can easily trip and fall. Now, these are the inflatables they use. Have any of you ever done this? I need to know in the comments. I've ever, never done it because it looks like you just flail around, but I've definitely never seen this yellow one in the middle. I don't even understand how that would work. The couch and the banana boat I get, but not that yellow sombrero option. So let me know in the comments. Have you done it? Is it fun? Did you hurt yourself? Now in this little complex of buildings, there is a tour company. So if you are ever booked with exclusive escapes tours or looking for them, you're just going to walk past the ship on the beach and then it's in that little grouping. Now you have more chairs. Now these advertise free Wi-Fi. So, and that really is a guy who's just turned his phone into a hotspot. So don't try to like upload videos to YouTube on it. It's just a guy in a hotspot. But you do get this really pretty views. The sand here is really nice compared to what's down uh, by the, right by the cruise port. The chairs are spread out a little more of varying degrees of quality. Um, be very careful when you sit down or get up. But if you make it all the way to the end, you are rewarded with Jack's Shack. Now, this is a very infamous place to go, famous place to go. It has beach volleyball. You can rent chairs down here. It also has great jerk chicken. All right, now we're back in the complex just after you came out of the duty free shop. We went left before. Now we're going to go to the right. And guess what? There's more lounge chairs. So Grand Turk Cruise Center can take two cruise ships, up to 8,000 cruise passengers. So on this side, again, more free loungers. These are included. You can tell by the ropes. Now, this is not the side if you want to swim in the ocean. The ocean's rockier. It's a steeper incline to get into the water, but you can get massages and there are waiters that come around. Now, these are affiliated with the beached whale restaurant, not Margaritaville. So beach whale is here. It also has a just a small restaurant area as well as a step out takeout window. It has a lot of the Turks classics. So you're going to find, you know, your jerk chicken, different barbecue, lots of great lunch options. And then just past the beach whale, there are even more chairs and the actual sculpture or 
a statue that you can see here so you can see how the beached whale got its name so, but if we head away from the beach uh, from the beach whale we're going to find a monument to the 1964 splash down in grand turks this is when john glenn splashed down he splashed down just off the west shore in the Friendship 7 Mercury. So they have kind of a little recreation of that, a lot of exhibition and information if you want to learn more. And they have a cool space shop. So if you're looking for an interesting or unique souvenir that says Grand Turk, head into there. It's just right next to where the monument is. You have a lot more stores available. You have your Harley Davidson. Now we're kind of walking along the back. So if you would cut across the complex, this is kind of where we are now, kind of circling around the back where you're going to find more stores that are available for all of you shoppers out there and then this is where you'll find the taxis so that pink building is going to be very important and then you head out of the actual cruise center by this taxi sign now in that cute little pink hut you could get your passport stamp now it's just a commemorative stamp it's not an official government stamp but i know a lot of people want to have their passport reflect where they've been and you can see we are back at the margaritaville now so we kind of made this big circle out to the beached whale through the exhibition back along the shops to where the taxis are to where you can get your passport stamped back to Margaritaville. So I'm back on board, ready to sail away. That was Grand Turk. What did you think? Have you been there before? What's your favorite thing to do? Let me know.